Okay. Grandmaster, some critical thinking problems. Number one, it says use the tangent ratio to solve for angle theta. So here's my triangle. This is the angle I'm trying to determine. And if I want to use the tangent ratio, again, I need the opposite and the adjacent. The only problem is I don't know what this opposite is. I know that the adjacent is 3, but instead I'm given the hypotenuse, which is 5. Okay. But the question specifically says use the tangent ratio. So in order to do that, I need to figure out this first. Okay. Well, this is still a right triangle, so we can use Pythagoras. So 3 squared plus x squared is 5 squared. Okay. This is 9, this is 25. Solving for x squared is going to give 16. Therefore, x is the square root of 16, which is 4. Okay. So that is the opposite. That's what we're actually going to use. Okay. So if the tangent of theta is 4 over 3, that means theta must be the inverse tangent of 4 thirds. So I'm going to put that in my calculator. This is just a simple fraction. You can use your fraction button or just use a division statement. Make sure you use brackets. So I'm going to take the inverse tangent of 4 thirds and I get that theta is approximately 53 point one degrees. Okay, so that's our answer. Later on you're going to discover that we could have actually solved for this angle uh, not using tangent at all without actually having to figure out this length here uh, of 4. But because the question says use the tangent ratio, we had no choice. We had to use Pythagoras to figure out this missing side. Number two, use the tangent ratio to solve for angle theta. So here's my angle here. And I have a, a composite shape, meaning it's built of multiple shapes, because you we have one large triangle, but you can see it's built of two right triangles. So if that's 90 degrees, that's also 90 degrees. All right, so if we want the tangent ratio, remember, we can only work with right triangles. Okay. So that's the one that we need to work with ultimately. All right. So this part here, okay, this 5 kilometers, that is the adjacent. So we need this opposite right here to determine that unknown angle. But unfortunately, it's not given, nor is the hypotenuse given. But there's some other information given here in this triangle. This angle is 60, and this little distance here, that is three kilometers. Okay. And they share that same height. Okay. Well, I can use the tangent ratio for the red triangle to figure out this length here. I'll call that x. So I'll keep that in red. The tangent of 60 degrees is opposite over adjacent. So that's x divided by three kilometers. So we need to solve for x, so I'm just going to multiply both sides by 3, so that cancels. So I get x just by multiplying 3 times 1060, and I get x is approximately 3 times 1060, 5.196. Now I'm going to keep uh, one more decimal, I'll put a 2 here. I want to keep enough decimals because if I round prematurely or too much, I'm going to have to use this answer over here in blue. When I'm finished the question and I have my unknown angle, my answer is going to be off. I don't want that. So, in fact, you know what? Let's just keep a couple more, just for fun. One, five. Okay. So, we know this. Well... That's also x. So I now get to steal this x here and use it to complete this blue triangle. So I'll keep that in blue. 
we know that the tangent of theta is equal to x, which I just solved. That was in red. That was the 5.19615 over its adjacent. That's 5. Okay. This is a number I can work out. No problem. Okay. You don't need to. In fact, I'll just write it. So you can take the inverse tangent of whatever this has worked out to be, or in brackets, you can actually just work out this calculation after you hit this button. It's up to you. Okay, so we divide that, take the inverse tan, and I get that theta is approximately 46.1 degrees. Okay, so this is an example whereby we have to go to a different shape to get the information that we need to solve for, well, this blue triangle right here. So about 46.1 degrees. Question three, use the tangent ratio to solve for x. So here, x is this distance right here. Now the temptation um, in the early stages might be to think, well, this is 27 degrees, and this is four, and this looks like my opposite. So I just say tan of 27 equals four over x and solve for x. That is completely wrong because the tangent ratio, as we know it, can only be applied to right triangles. Okay, so there's a right triangle here in blue. Okay, so that's 39. The opposite is 4. So I could use the tangent ratio to solve for this. Okay, and I'll call that. I'll call that y. Okay. Keeping in mind, I still want to solve for x by the end of the day. So I can get this distance. But keep in mind, there's also another right triangle. So I'll do that one in red. It's the big one. It's the whole thing. Okay. And it still has the 4. Okay. But the angle is different. Okay, the angle is 27. So I can use the tangent ratio to find this distance here in red. I'll call that z. You can call it anything you want. <laughs> well, if I can determine the length of z and find the length of y, all I have to do is subtract y from z, and whatever's left over will give me this value of x. Right? So let's work with one triangle at a time. All right, so I'm going to do the red triangle first. So the tangent ratio says tan of 27 must equal the opposite, which is 4, divided by the adjacent, which is z. Okay? It's z that I'm after, so it's on the bottom. I don't like that, so I'm going to multiply it out on both sides. So it cancels here, so I have z times the tangent of 27 degrees equals 4. And of course, I now have to divide both sides by a tangent of 27. So that cancels. All right. So z is, and I'm just going to work this out on my calculator, 4 divided by tan 27 gives me approximately 7 point eight five zero four. I'm going to keep a bunch of decimals for now. I'll round a little bit more towards the end. Now I need to work with this blue triangle. <coughs> works works uh, much the same way, but instead it's the tangent of 39 degrees. That is equal to the opposite, which is 4 again but its adjacent is y. Okay. Well, I'm just going to solve it exactly the same way as before. I'm going to multiply both sides by y. <coughs> so y times the tangent of 39 degrees is 4. And then to get y by itself, I, 
divide both sides by 1039. So those cancel. So I'm going to work out y. So 4 divided by 10 of 39 gives me approximately 4.9396. Okay, so that's y. And I'll just put a box around z. Okay, so pretty much all of the work is done. We just need to find x. Okay, so x is just given by z take away y. Okay, so that equals. I'm just going to put these numbers in my calculator. So I had 7.8504 minus 4.9396. So now I'm going to round. X is approximately 2.91. I'll stop at the nearest hundredth. And there we go. That's our answer. But let's, let's make sure we do everything properly here. Remember, there were units given in this question, so the final answer should have units in, of course. So this is feet. Okay. Wasn't too picky about them over here, but this was feet as well.